Hey guys, hope you're well. So I want to jump on here and tell you a little bit about my story and kind of how, where I am in my fitness now and I hope it helps you. So I was an athlete all my life. I played a collegiate sport, I played lacrosse and the transition from having sports be embedded in your life and <laughs> versus not was really hard for me. Maybe you're feeling this way too, like you identify as that athlete and you know our whole entire lives we're being told like go 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 practice like work hard work hard and then finally you're out of it and you're like why am I even doing this what am I supposed to do like I can't eat everything anymore because I'm gonna gain weight like what <laughs> um and that happened to me actually I gained 10 pounds on my nine to five job because I just I never thought it would happen to me, you know? And, you know, not that 10 pounds, you, you honestly could look at me, probably couldn't even tell, but it's something that you notice, you know? Um, so I totally get that. It's something that you feel. So what I really had to do was find out a new way to work out where it felt good for me and gave me that motivation and I had to find a deeper why. Um, just like at sport, in sport, in lacrosse, I was playing lacrosse, but I played all, all, the, all these other different sports. Um, it's like, why are you training? To win, to be faster than your opponent, to get your butt down for the ground balls, like to have a harder shot. But now when you're working out and you don't have like a goal like that, that you're sharing with a team, you're just like, wow, 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 like what am I doing? So I had to go deeper and find my why. And that why is to train to be a better human, to train for life. Um, and one reason specifically is like, I, I live in Chicago and obviously the weather's crazy, but in winter, like slipping on the ice can mean death. <laughs> and so just being like having that, the stability to be able to catch myself and like honestly living real life, like training should be to emulate what could happen to you in real life so your body is is more equipped to handle it and so now i train for myself my family to better my community um and you know when you work out when you are eating in a healthy way that feels good for you and not all the time of course you have this energy about you that is like oh like she seems happy with herself she seems really confident and Whenever I saw older women portraying this this energy to me, I was like, I wanted that, I want that. And the truth is that you can only give that to yourself. I could only give that to myself. And especially, um, I did have some, well, do still, not gonna lie, I have some insecurity issues where, you know, if my boyfriend wasn't texting me back within the hour, I was like, oh my God, what, like, is he mad at me? What did I do? Like. Just bullshit like that. And honestly, I just got sick of it. And that's kind of where this mentality of always feeling like I had to go, go, go because of the sports. Like, you gotta get better, you gotta go, you gotta go. To, okay, I don't need to do anything physical. I don't need to do in order to feel whole and to order to feel enough and worthy. So even just that transition of, okay, I'm working out for life, for myself, for my community. Um, to feel good so I can give more energy out to others because I know I took care of myself first and I feel good about myself to also not having to feel like I always have to go, I have to go, I have to go, that I'm enough as I am. And that's also where I um, started to really incorporate yoga and meditation and mobility because working out and movement looks so different for so many people. It's not just... I'm gonna lift weights and you know the fitness industry is like grind 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 it's like no you need recovery you need those mobility days um, just so 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 important to overall health so really the transition from athlete to not having a scheduled sport I still feel like an athlete like I will always be an athlete because it's that athlete mentality that I'm holding on to that I am, I am that person, but it's, it's not my identity anymore. Like I am Emma and I'm even deeper than that. I am just love and everyone is. So I hope this gave you a better idea of kind of where I am now. Like we all go through phases and the phase I am in right now is 
yoga mobility, but also like feeling really good, but I really want to start getting more strength. Um, I did lose some muscle because I got hurt and I had to stick to yoga and mobility. So that's all good and fine. We always go through phases and I think that's something to, to remember is I had to really surrender to my situation, especially when I got hurt um, with my shoulder. If, you know, if I kept trying to lift weights really heavy, like I was only going to hurt myself more. So listening to your body is so important. This is exactly what I do with my clients. Like what, what does it feel good? Like, let's make a workout routine plan that works for you, but you know, it's going to push you, excuse me, but still going to help you reach your goal. So I hope that helped you just knowing that you aren't alone, um, in, in this transition of like, I'm no longer an athlete. Like, oh my gosh, you are an athlete. We just have to change that mentality and change that energy from why am I doing this to win to why am I doing this to be better for my community and for myself and to express that love and energy I have for what I'm doing, for the people I love, um, knowing that I've taken care of myself first. And here's the thing too, which is so powerful. Younger women, younger boys, whoever's watching this, the younger generation are watching you. So even if you think that, you know, you don't matter or what's one day not going to do, like blah, blah, blah. It's like you want to make decisions that you are proud of um, because, you know, people are watching you and like they're looking up to you, these, these younger kids. And that's super powerful, too. So you're not just doing it for yourself. You're doing it for your community. So, okay. I hope that that helped you. Bye.